士们、先生们，大家晚上好！欢迎来到孔子学院二零一八年春节联欢晚会晚会的现场。今天的晚会是由西印度大学圣奥古斯丁分校孔子学院与中国驻特多大使馆联合举办的。我是今晚的主持人周思农，我是李延新，我是荣德。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2018 Chinese Spring Festival celebrations. Tonight's Spring, Spring Festival celebrations is hosted by the Confucius Institute at the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus in collaboration with the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. I am your host, Rondell, and these two ladies are Yan Xin, Si Nong. 下面请允许我们为大家介绍今晚的嘉宾 We would like to give special introduction. To our specially invited guests, Professor Brian Copeland, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of the West Indies St. Augustine Campus. 欢迎你 His Excellent. His Excellency Ambassador Song Yumin, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Trinidad and Tobago. 欢迎你 Professor Inda Ramnarain, Deputy Principal. 欢迎你 Dr. Beverly Ann Carter, Local Director, Confucius Institute. 欢迎您 Professor Tang Jianhua, Chinese Director, Confucius Institute. 欢迎您 We'd also like to welcome Miss, Mrs. Maria Li, President of the China Arts and Cultural Studies Society. Mr. Adrian Isaac, President of the Dai Lian Foundation. Mr. Clyde Albert Alam, President of the Chinese Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Members of staff, students, media, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. welcome. <laughs> 下面请允许，下面有请西印度大学圣奥古斯丁分校校长 Kaplan 教授讲话。We'd like to invite Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of the West Indies St. Augustine Campus to give his opening remarks. <laughs> Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Trinidad and Tobago. Your Excellency, uh, Ichi Song Yumin, other staff members of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Trinidad and Tobago, Professor Indar Ramnarain, Deputy Principal of the St. Augustine Campus of the University of the West Indies, Professor Jianhua Tang, Head of the Confucius Institute at the UWI, students, colleagues, and other stakeholders of the UE St. Augustine Campus, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, Good evening. It is my pleasure to once again welcome you, Excellency, to the St. Augustine campus of the University of the West Indies. I am also honored to bring greetings on behalf of the staff and students of this campus and the regional, and the regional university as we meet in celebration of the Zhongguo Chunji, or the Chinese French Spring um, Festival. I'm told that the celebrations surrounding the Spring Festival welcome health, Welcome wealth and good relationships in the new year. I can say with complete assurance that I would personally welcome all or any part of these good wishes. It is hard to imagine that it's been just five years since the Confucius Institute at the UE was officially launched. In that short space of time, we on the campus and in the wider community of Trinidad and Tobago have learned and enjoyed everything about China, its language its culture, its customs, from the team at the Confucius Institute. Thank you, Professor Tang, for all the hard work and the commitment involved. This evening, I'm looking forward very much to experiencing the rich culture that is China's, one that dates back several millennia, which will tonight be brought to life by students of the Confucius Institute and the Chinese community in this country. I, I'll take a pause here to say I, I just came back from a trip from China, my first ever, and um, Let's just say that the experience was way beyond my expectation. Um, and I was just explaining to, the, to, the, um, to the, uh, His Excellency that to me, the most impressive part of the, the trip was uh, my visit to the National Museum, um, thanks to, to Professor Tang. Um, a strong appreciation of how history um, supports our people, um, not only in the present, but also in going forward in the future. But anyone who knows the history of Trinidad and Tobago is aware that our relationship with China goes back to 1806, when 192 men arrived as immigrants. 
In the more than 200 years since, their culture, cuisine, traditions have become integral to Trinidad Tobago life and lifestyle. Trinidad Tobago is a cosmopolitan society with a meld and mix of ethnicities, which led Archbishop Desmond Tutu to dub us as the rainbow country. Remarkably, at least at the level of the people, we have managed to live in some measure of peace, harmony, and tolerance. Indeed, Trinidad and Tobago could be considered the ideal place to witness diversity in action and to understand differing cultures and traditions, many of which have survived, if not intact, but with a very Trinbagonian twist. The University of the West Indies is committed to revitalizing economic growth and driving a culture of self-sustainability for wealth creation in the Caribbean region. This requires our students and our people to understand the myriad of societies that inhabit our global village if we are to work and do business effectively and efficiently. China and the countries of the East offer tremendous opportunity for us here in the emerging states of the Caribbean. In recognition of the fact the St. Augustine campus is actively working towards a minor in East Asian studies with Mandarin, Japanese, and Korean language and culture. We expect to accomplish this in the short to medium term. Now, persons born in the year of the dog, which is this year, are said to be loyal, amiable, kind, cautious, and prudent. Since I was born in the year of the fire monkey, which is all about passion and action and in initiative, I am always grateful for the persons with qualities such as those who bring balance in my professional and personal life. A kind of yin yang, if you will. We've swept out the old year, and we now welcome the new. Allow me then to close by wishing you all a happy year of the dog, a year of new beginnings for us all. I thank you, and have a good evening. Thank you, Professor Copeland. 感谢 Copeland 校长的精彩讲话。下面有请中国驻特多大使宋玉民大使致辞。We'd now like to invite the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, His Excellency Song Yumin. Campus uh, of the UE, and professor in the uh, in the Ramnari, Deputy Principal of the St. Augustine Campus, uh, UE, Dr. Billy Ann Carter, Local Director of uh, Confucius Institute. Institute and Dr. Tang Jianhua, the Chinese director of uh, the institute. And specially invited guests, uh, dear students, uh, members of media, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And I thank you very much for your kind invitation. It's my great pleasure to join you this evening here in the uh, CS, uh, celebration of Chinese New Year. And taking this opportunity, on behalf of the Chinese uh, Embassy here in Trinidad and Tobago, I would like to extend our season's greetings and best wishes to you all. Happy New Year. Good Nian Hao. Dajia Good Nian Hao. And uh, uh, this, year, this year is the Year of Dog, and may the Year of Dog bring uh, prosperity, good health, joy, and happiness to you all throughout the year. In recent decades, along with the rapid growth of the Chinese economy and its vibrant exchanges with the rest of the world, there has been a significant increase in the demand for learning of Chinese language and culture. So making good reference of other countries' experience in promoting their national languages and culture, starting from 20, the year 20, uh, 2004, China began its own exploration through establishing non-profitable, non-profit public institutions to promote Chinese language and culture in other, uh, in other countries. And these were given the name the Confucius, uh, Confucius Institutes. Chinese President Xi Jinping once said that the Confucius Institute is a window and a bridge of language and cultural exchanges between China and the rest of the world. And this brand, 
not only belongs to China, but also belongs to the whole world. And since its establishment, especially in the last five years, the CS have played an important role in enhancing mutual understanding and friendship between China and other countries. And it's also become, become a platform for cultural exchanges. And up to December last year, which is uh, uh, 2017, 525 Confucius Institutes and 1,113 Confucius classes have been established over 140 countries. In June, 20, in June 2013, President Xi Jinping witnessed the signing of an agreement for launching the Insti uh, Confucius Institute at UV St. Uh, Augustine campus during his uh, state visit to Trinidad and Tobago. And on the, same, uh, on the 23rd October, the same year, the Confucius Institute was officially inaug uh, inaugurated. And since its establishment, with valuable support from the UV St. Augustine campus, CI has become a center for Chinese language teaching and learning, a window for better understanding of China and its culture, and a link for closer China and Trinidad Tobago relations. In the process of jointly building of the CI, the U.S. St. Uh, St. Augustine campus has further expanded its cooperation with the China Agricultural University in other disciplines. I would cite uh, the collaboration of, uh, of the two sides on the Agriculture, Agricultural Innovation Park as a very good example. And I hope that such cooperation and academic exchanges between the two sides will continue to gain its momentum and may the UA St. Augustine campus continue to play a greater role in fostering mutual understanding and friendship between our two peoples. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, in Chinese traditional culture, this year is related to a Chinese zodiac animal according to the 12 years uh, cycle, and this year is the year of uh, uh, it is said is our Earth uh, dog. So derived from dog's personality, the year of dog attribute uh, the year of dog's attributes could be characterized as intelligent, intelligence, hardworking, sincerity, reliability, and responsibility. So this is a year of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, hard working. So may the new year bring, our new, bring us new hope. So may it bring, bring us, may it bring, bring us success in our career and business, academic excellence in our learning and teaching, joy and happiness in our families. So once again, happy Lunar New Year and I wish you enjoy the rest part of the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. So, ready to start the show? Yes, come wait. Is this your first time away from home? Yes, and this is the first time being so far away from home. So I guess you must miss Yes, but you know, this year's Spring Festival and the Carnival are at the same time. I did enjoy carnival here in Trinidad, and I feel it's so like Spring Festival in China that everyone's happy, everyone's so celebrating. Besides, I have all of you here to be with me to celebrate the biggest festival in China. So, just can't wait to start the show. Me too. S tonight, we have many wonderful performances in store, such as calligraphy, martial arts, and even Tai Chi. So, hopefully it makes you feel right at home. Xie Rongde. Um, I heard you are a really good Chinese speaker. That's not true. But, but I still want to test you something about Chinese knowledge. You know, in China, we use an animal to represent each year. So do you know what the last year's animal was? Um, pig. Actually, no. Yeah. Rooster. Just kidding. 
Okay. Of course, I must know because Confucius Institute has invested a lot into their students like me. Yeah. And I participated in the Chinese Bridge program and we went to China and we learned wow. a lot about Chinese culture. We've been to the capital of China, which is Beijing. Uh, we went to the Great Wall of China, Tiananmen Square. Hey, uh, guys, no. We, we have our performance waiting backstage. We'll get back to you two later. Our first performance for the night is a lovely chicken dance by the students of the Heritage Chinese class. 下面请欣赏舞蹈小鸡小鸡。Feel free to join if you like. That performance was lovely. Those students yes. were amazing. Give up one more time. Yeah. 
Those students are from the Heritage Chinese class. It's a class for Trinidadian Chinese persons to learn chi Chinese language and culture. And we also have other cultural classes such as Tai Chi and martial arts. Yes, and next we have a Tai Chi performance uh, done by Confucius Institute students. 接下来, Ladies and enjoy.